Hello and welcome to the Clockwork 42 channel. My name is Benjamin. Today I'm playing with Kotobukiya 112 scale full action plastic model kit Mega Man X. Let's take a closer look. Here's Mega Man taking stage front and center. I like how it turned out. I'm not a real big uh, model kit builder. You can probably tell as I get close-ups later on. You can see some flaws here and there. But for a basic build, he comes out pretty well. The instructions were very easy to follow. Uh, numbered and lettered sprues. Step-by-step -step instructions. If you've never built a model kit, these are really easy to jump into and get started. I think the only difficult thing is tr trimming each part off the sprue, filing, sanding, just make sure they fit flush. But if you got the patience to put it together, it's worth doing. Let's hop him off the stand here and see how he measures up next to some figures. Knocking out the size comparisons, we got Fortnite Fish Stick, Unrivaled Kenny Omega, Lego Boba Fett, Legends Shang-Chi, Mythic Ogre, and a Pony for Good Measure. In addition to the figure, you get these effect parts to recreate his Mega Buster busting. It's got a couple different pieces on it. You can separate that if you want. This comes off. You can remove that piece to achieve the dash effect or whatever else your imagination comes up with. It comes with an additional piece to use with the stands that are compatible with the Kotobukiya kits, which I do not have at the moment. Everything can or cannot be glued if you wish. I just keep it unglued so I can store it in my bin easily. Power up effect. Is he going Mega Saiyan? That's not a thing. Anyways, let's take a look at some of the other accessories. Mega Man is going to have three face portraits. They come off pretty easily. Just lift up the chin. Lift up the chin, pull them down. Gritting teeth. Calling out your order number. There's the last one, here we go. And classic comp face. Well, determined face. Got a resting Mega Man face, whatever you want to call it. The Mega Buster can be equipped on either hand. That's a pretty cool feature. A nice translucent red piece in the center. He's going to have three sets of hands. Plenty for expressions. Taking a look at Mega Man's articulation. As you can see, single joint, decent range of motion in his elbow. Ball joint, neck, and the head. Allow him to look down, around, WTF, bruh. Torso, upper, on a ball joint as well. Good range of motion. The lower torso, it's kind of stiff, but can move forward, backwards a little bit, like so. a bicep swivel, ball joint in the hands, a little bit of rocking motion, but not too extreme, especially with his fists. Pull a different hand. Kind of depends on the hand you're using, how you want to pose it. 
rotation. Two points in the shoulder butterfly area as well as swiveling out and in. In the waist or his thigh, excuse me, hips on a ball, swivel. Looking at his knees, oh, coming apart at the seams. There are some things I still need to glue down. But it's a double joint, engineered a little bit differently. Allows his boot to go back pretty far. Hold that together. Ankles. Forward and back, they can rock a little bit. Of course they're big so the motion is going to be limited. They can twist. Scale of fun to 10? Yes. It's a fun kit. Once it's built, building can be a bit tedious, time consuming, but once you get it done, it's a lot of fun to play with. These are currently available online, as far as I know. It's not like a Cobra Trooper. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Torso, whoops, as I destroy him. I'm sorry, getting out of focus. Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch after he meets Bane.